Um, we're up here, uh, uh, first thing, we did that technique, right? The two colors, the triangles, and we painted through off the scalp, right? Now that's, this, yes. Oh, my mic? Too loud? Better? Sorry about that. Thank you. So, blazing. You know, we were out here talking, a lady said, you know what, I've been thinking about getting blazing uh, for years. And I go, well, they just had an anniversary of 25 years. Blazing Highlights is number one in the world. Bleach is an uncontrolled lightener. You hope you get a yellow you like. If not, what do you got to do? You got to tone it. Blazing lifts up to seven levels, deposits tone in one step. But I'm getting one before I leave here, I can tell you that much, because I use a lot of it. So I want you to think about it. I'm not a salesperson. I'm just a hairdresser. And I have the honor of being able to share with you today. But all I'm sharing with you is what I do in the salon every day. That's it. So again, we based her with a cream color. We filled in. I got a picture on my phone if you want to see what we started with. And then we used two colors in the blazing. A light copper and a darker copper or medium copper. All I did was paint them through from medium to light, and that's it. I'm not that good. I just follow the rules. Pick what you want, go across your chart, and it tells you what to mix up. That's it. I'm going to do You want to trim her hair a little bit, folks? You want to see her haircut? Yes? Okay. All right. So let's do it. It looks good. You don't want to cut it? You want to cut a little bit? Okay, I don't, hey, I'm up to you. Uh, if y'all want to, we don't have to. I don't care. <laughs> what do I care, you know? I got plenty to do here. But, you know, I mean, would I trim her in the salon? You bet. So let's have fun. Let's do a little, I'm going to start backwards here. And I'm going to go from center eye to center brow. Center eye to center brow. And let's give her a nice heavy fringe. She's already got a little bit up here. So I'm going to zigzag a little out. If you want to control a cowlick, um, we want to leave a little weight on it so it doesn't fly up. Is that okay? Have you liked the little tricks I've shown you today? Have you got stuff to take home with you, okay? Thank you. Two people. Okay. So we're going to go. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're going to go. We're going to go from short to long here. And you always go this way with your hair. Okay. So simply, I'm going to take this hair, zigzag it, leave some weight. If the cowlick is on one side, I'm going to leave more weight on the one side. So I'm going to drag this hair over here, and I'm going to cut it off here. Now again, she doesn't need a crazy haircut, just needs a little bit. And while I have it up in the air, I'm going to grab my blending shears and go halfway or less. When you're doing the fringe, you want to make sure you don't go too short inside, because then it'll stick up on you. So go farther in than what? Than halfway, unless you want it thin. So when you're looking at a picture, the, one of the accessories you're going to do maybe is texture. Texture is halfway out. You want to thin, we go below halfway. Do you ever go all the way to the scalp? Yes, but not in the round. I'll show you that in a minute. So already, when I look at her hair, I see the movement already. I see the movement I put in from short to long. It's not just cut up here any old way. I want to move it short to long, I go short to long. I go at the center of the eye, and I go short to long. Center eye, center eye, the center of eye, center brow. Short, short to long. You know, and now, because it's cut short to long, it wants to stay there a little better. Because you know that short pushes long. This isn't a game. I take this really seriously. If she was in my town and she walked in my salon, I'm going to let her know I, I want her to come here from now on. I want to know who her mama is. If she has children, I want to know who they are. I love to do children's hair, you know, as I work my business. Yes. Drop this to, oh, it's too loud? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Let me know, uh, 
thank you. I thought they couldn't hear me. That, how's that? Is that better? Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. Sorry. Okay. So I went this way on this side. Center. That sounds better to me, too. Thank you. I went around her eye this way. And then I did, of course, that way. So leave, leave that alone because now that is a, an accessory. I start off with an accessory. Can you go backwards? Yeah. I could texture her first if I wanted to, but usually texture follows the cut. So I'm going to have her stand up here. You have hair on my ex wife. Have you ever been cleaning up someone's neck after a haircut and the hair doesn't come off? It's, it's attached? <laughs> off, off to the last room we go. I know. Okay, tilt down a little bit. Okay, so how much are we going to cut off? I don't know. Let's look and see. Let's look and see. Let's clean her ends up a little bit. Again, it's long hair. I, I kind of like it on her. So, let's see what we got. Let's take some of these ends off. Center ear. See, I always do the center ear. Center ear. Just to make sure. Center ear. Now, you want to do it natural fall. Now, some haircuts we would pull back and let it go. But on her, we want to do natural fall. Where it naturally wants to lay. So, I like it. I kind of like the feel of the length. I didn't have to take off too much. But I like it a little more airy, especially with this, these colors we've got going through it. So, I'm going to open it up a little bit. And I'm not going to be scared to go a little deep in there and break it up. You ever cut someone's clothes? That's to be, do you say something or you just keep going? Sorry. <laughs> And, and, and I cut necklaces off, and you don't see it, and you just go, you know, <laughs> your necklace broke, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you look straight ahead, okay? And I'm just going to turn your head that way. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down. Yep. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, she keeps turning. Okay. And we'll take those ends off. There wasn't much to cut here, so I'm just going to bring it up. And then this side here. I don't look for hair to cut. If it's not there, don't cut it. If it's not there. So I basically just took a length off. has nothing to do with a haircut because I don't have to remember that. So this is a very, very um, um, round layer. It's a very uh, uh, um, in the book, uh, uh, hourglass shape, um, very in. Why are these in so much? It's brown and fair. Huh? I love it. I love it. Okay. So, and, you know, it's, it's long enough people can wear it up. It's a round shape, so it moves a lot. It can blow in the wind. That's why it looks good if it blows in the wind, because it's cut in the round. This is a round shape. So it's a shad, basically. We go round and then out, keeping the length. That's what we do. So let's get a length. So when you have the fringe here, it has nothing to do with her haircut. It's an accessory to it. So I'm looking at her. I'm looking at her and I'm going to take this piece. I'm leaving those pieces. I'm going to go down here and take this piece. I'm going to go down there and take this piece. Could I leave one longer than the other? Could I? Yes. Well, sure. You, huh? you can leave one this way. I don't care what you do. You do it. But it's a round shape. So that would be accessory you would add as an angle. Who would, who would get an angle? Well, someone you want to soften. You know, if someone has harder features and you give them fringe like this, you're doing hard and hard, and sometimes it's too much hardness. But what if you have somebody with a very fragile face, and you go in and give a firm fringe like this lady. I just saw you kind of already forget. And you have somebody beautiful and has soft, small features, she can wear BAM like that. You see what I mean? Some people can't wear this as well. She, and I said that, and I just looked over there, and there was somebody with a fringe up. But thank you. It, does, it, does it work on her? What else works on her? Now, you notice it was above the brow, right? Why, why does that work on her? Because she's little. And when you go above the brow, yes, there you go. He knows. It lifts her up because the eye is attracted to light first. You lift her. 
when I'm looking at someone to add highlights to, if she's five foot tall, she doesn't wear this as well. Because the eye drags down to where the light is. You get it? So if a new stylist looks at me, I'm not sure where to put it. Where, don't tell me you don't know. Do you want to make her taller or shorter? Do you want to put angles in for a reason? What do you want to do? I'm not sure. Think a little deeper. What do you want to do? Because sometimes on shorter people, what I do is I put the, or, or, or taller people, I put the highlight that's most important first. Like if I had a shorter person, and I know I'm going to put an angle in, okay, and I'm going to lift her up, okay, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put that first one right here before I do any other highlight. And I'll put that one in first, and I'll, and I'll tell the lady, I, listen, I said, I'm going to put some highlights in your hair, but this is the one. This is the money shot. This is the one that's, so, that's most important. And she gets excited. You see, like this lady, look here, look here. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know this lady, but I'm going to tell you right now, if you took these highlights away and put them here and none here, she's going to hate it. Why? Because the eye goes to the light first, she'd drag down and she'd go, girl, you got to put some light up here for me. I'll tell you how it works. You have a good twice, you see? And I'll tell you, on a shorter person, now we're all, we're all different sizes, right? On a shorter person, you ask most people, they want to be lifted up a little bit. And I'll tell you, on a shorter person, if they have a look like this and they're blonde, as soon as those roots start going out on a shorter person, they're like, I gotta get the roots done. I gotta go to the salon, I gotta get done. Look. But on a taller person, I think I'll invent ombre. <laughs> You know what I mean? They don't need it as much. So they see lazy celebrities over their head, all of a sudden it's the look. Okay, I'm okay with that. But short, am I right? Shorter people don't look good, as good with that. But what if someone on the shorter side wants ombre? And they want it lighter and darker, right? What do I do? I'll give it to them. But I'm going to put a little light up here too. I see what I mean? And balance it out a little bit. That's all. Okay. All right. So let's do this. We're back to the haircut. Y'all like this stuff, huh? It's fun? Okay. Okay, so let's put some deep, deep, look. You see that? Deep pieces. Why would I go in deeper on some people? Well, I want more movement. I want more texture. Look here. You see it? They just take it. Don't be taking my systems, man. I'm going home, but I was supposed to go home with that. <laughs> He's taking my blazing unit. Oh, my God. Okay, look here. In all my years with scruples, which is over 30 years, I've never seen them give kits away. They never have. And I'm telling you honestly. So when, when Pete said, right, no one come here, he said, we're giving this away. If they buy any of our systems that are already deeply discounted, we're going to give them. Well, it's gone, no? Okay, great. Uh, we're going to give it to them. I said, wow, that's cool. I said, can I get it on that deal too? You know what I mean? I'm serious. i got to buy my product too, guys. I don't get a discount on my product, by the way. I pay what you do. So anytime I'm at a show, I buy the deals. D. Look here now. D. D. Where am I? Where am I heading to? Who said that? I'm gonna let. Okay, I'm gonna bury your child too. <laughs> yes, instead of here. Look. Look at this. I don't like this piece. Look. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take it off. I don't like this piece. Look here. Look here. I'm gonna take it off. Okay. All right. So now let's let's, let's finish the hair. Uh, sit down here. So what can we do? We've got the fringe in there. So on her too, and you see me zigzag all the time, but if she needs it, I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. So let's take this up here. Let's take this up here. Do you like all this hair in the back, or do you like to lose some of it? Like to, to make it? I can do whatever I like. <laughs> oh, my birthday. Here we go. Okay, look here. Zigzag. Zigzag. Isn't that sweet? When you get a model like this, it's just open to it and, and what 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 a God sent. Down. And I will say that all the models have been so nice. Absolutely. Give them a hand fight. They have been really nice. We had no prima donnas that said, I don't know, 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 I don't
it's a it's a pleasure. Let's take that off and let's cut into this a little bit too. Let's go deep into this. Okay. So again, we're going to kick it forward. We texturize it a little bit. I'm liking the feel. Really liking the feel here. Have the back on her. She's just got all this. She's got all this. So let's take let's take some out. Now, what is the rule? If the hair on the top is six inches or more, we're going to cut to the end of the round. On all haircuts, 95% of the time, if you're doing a round layer, if it's six inches or more, watch this. I'm going to go up and find my length. Pull it straight out. Straight out. Straight out. If I can't come through it, just cut it. <laughs> <laughs> you said I could. Oh, okay. okay. In the round, pull it back to the corner of the head. Now, what I mean by the corner is the top of the head goes all the way down to the neck, center, right? And then you have a pie section all the way down to the round, into the round, the flat, and then down into the neck. These lines cut through the hair in a, in a, in a, a round shape. So, did I get this side? Uh, you all watch, did I get this side? Yeah, I don't get it. I did? Let's see. You're right, I did. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever foiled someone's whole head and forgot a whole corner? I did that the other day, forgot a whole bag of corner. So she's being rinsed out, and the, and the assistant goes, uh, David, <laughs> I got interrupted and I forgot one whole corner. Okay, you look straight ahead, okay? Yeah, I forgot what I want. So we laugh. So here we go, straight out and tilt. We want to keep the weight and the length straight out and tilt. So your shape does this to the end of the round and then out like that. How can it not be perfect? It has to be, because it follows the balance of the head. Six inches or more at the end of the round and then out. Straight out. We go from the end of the round. Now we're going to the center of the ear. Center, I'm going to show you this now. This is center of the ear. Not the front of the ear. Not the back of the ear. It's the center. That's the balance area. Well, how do you know that? Because I was taught in the front row. I don't care where you were taught. This area right here, if I put a comb on her head and do like this, where it is level is the center of the ear. That spot is right here is the very tip top center. And right above the ear, you can feel the, the skull of the head do like that. It comes out the most right there, about a quarter inch above the ear. It's a balance area. So this area here, the back, I'm going to pull it back to the corner. Back to the corner. Straight out and tilt. And short pushes long. So I pull back. To where the corner of the nape is, and it pushes forward and fills in this triangle here of nothing. It'll go from the corner and fill in, and your haircut will never get too thin again. Ever. I'm gonna do the other side, right here, straight out. Don't worry about the round anymore. You're done with that. You're going to the end of the round, and you're going to go straight out and tilt. I'm going from the end. I'm straight out from the end of the round. Right here. Straight out tilt. And do the rest of it. From the corner to the corner. The middle of the ear. Pull back to the corner of the neck. Straight out to the corner. So you're right here. Straight out. Straight out. At the end of the round. You're going out. Done. And what it does is it puts a perfect layer. You'll never make a mistake. Now I'm going to show you other ways. Whoops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Whoops. Okay. I'm all over the place. Okay. Just real quick. Texturizing, right? So you saw me with the blending shears, right? I want you, I, I'm going to leave you with this, this technique and then I'm going to show you the models. If you take your shears, 
Y'all want to see this? You feel good? If I take my shears and do like this, right, I'll slice away from my finger. If I take my uh, razor, I can do that too and leave with a point. I can take my clippers and leave with a point and make all kind of pieces that I want. If I want to notch with my razor, I'll take my razor and hit it with the corner and dun, 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 and I'll make square pieces. If I want to do that with my clipper, I'll take my finger, lay it on it, and turn it just slightly and make nice little notches the way I want, or less. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't know what you want to do, but you want to play, this is the way to play.